Hi guys, welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about my 2006 Volkswagen Touareg. Right behind me here is the Touareg that I bought about four years ago now. And uh, we've been nothing but happy with it so far. As you can see, it's the base model. Easiest way to know it's the base model is you see the seats. They're not leather, but it's pleather. I also don't have power seats. So these are manually adjustable seats. The adjuster right here is for the height adjustment. And every time I come out of the car, I actually tend to sit on it, and over time you lower your own seat. Now, being that this is the base model, this vehicle does feature manual uh, headlights, parking lights, and the off position is always to turn the fog lights off. You turn the thing and you pull it back, so it does have fog lights, which are standard on the base models, at least for the North American market. And one of the reasons I actually bought the base model is just because the reliability seems to be better than the fully loaded ones since there is a bit less electronics in it. So there's a couple of things less to break such as the air suspension and the car is fully equipped with power windows, doors, locks, mirrors, trunk release as well as the gas tank release. It does have a nice size storage pocket in the door as well as speakers all over the place. So there's this tweeter up here another tweeter up here another speaker down here and for the back the door setup is very similar so you have another door pocket window control lock and unlock as well as a nice cubby compartment here that opens up so you can hide your stuff in here as well as another speaker on the bottom and the speaker on the top on the passenger side door again you have your window controls your door locks a nice long compart storage compartment and again another three speakers on this side plastic actually does feature a speaker up here on the center of the dash some of the other features that you'll find on the doors of the Touareg is lights in the back portion of the door as well as most of you guys can see there's a light on the bottom of the door there's also another light on the bottom of the mirror to eliminate the footwell in addition to the back of the doors and the bottom and that doesn't stop with the front doors so you have the rear door light there as well as one on the bottom looks like it did put quite a bit of lights in this vehicle now the center dashboard again on this base model features an AM FM CD player the car does have like as mentioned quite a number of speakers as well as it comes with the dual zone climate control so you have the passenger side controls you have the driver side control this vehicle also features heated seats for the front driver and passenger. Automatic climate control is mentioned, so you can set the temperature and you leave it. And I do actually find it's quite nice in the sense that whenever the climate control system is on, I've never had my windows or windshield ever fog up. It also features two plugs on the front, as well as we have the mirror control, so left, right, heated. And the nice part, well, nice part or quirk part is you can actually synchronize them so that when you put in the left mode, it moves both left and right mirror accordingly. Not sure why you'd want to adjust both mirrors at the same time, but Volkswagen thought it would be a good idea. Finally, behind that, we have the control here for the four-wheel drive system. So if you press it, it does come up. And normally you always keep it in high, which is essentially automatic mode. Then you can shift it into four wheel low or you can also go additionally and lock your differential so the higher up model does have also a locking rear differential as opposed to just the center differential there's also the button to turn the stability control off the car does feature a nice transmission lever compared to most other cars it does have a bit of a feel of a fighter pilot plane throttle you can also manually shift it when in drive mode or you also have sport mode that holds the gears longer the car comes with a traditional key this is the center dash or the center console so it features oil temperature gauge which is not very common in cars your tachometer your coolant temperature your gas your 260 km an hour speedometer and a voltage meter which is again not very common in cars these days in the dark I'll show you what the instrument cluster looks like at, in the dark. So it's blue gauges with red needles. The two displays are red. 
And this is one of the parts that I really enjoy in this vehicle. It's actually the center console when it's dark. It does have a bit of a airplane cockpit feel. There's quite a few buttons that are all illuminated. And that progresses further down. As well, it looks like it didn't skimp off skimp on illuminating anything. Volkswagen is also gonna put a put lights for some reason on the bottom two lights on the bottom of the review mirror in addition to all the other lights that are there. Finally they've also put lights on all the climate controls. So center side window switches underneath the door handle there's a light and that follows in all four corners of the car. The steering wheel is completely illuminated as well and it does have a nice feature where you can actually turn the lighting off so right behind you just press a button and turn the lights off on the steering wheel if they're just too distracting. All four switches for the windows are illuminated. The lockout switch actually changes colors depending if it's in locked or unlocked mode. Further down your lights for your trunk release and your fuel gauge are also there. The car also comes with an auto dimming rear view mirror. I'm not sure if you guys can see this but there's a compass up here as well as a clock. Comes with controls for the front lights, cabin lights, as well as the home link system. As you can see mine is programmed under number one which is all completely worn out. And you can actually program up to three different garage doors. The sun shades are actually quite nice. They're illuminated as well as there's two of them so you have one that you can actually move over and then you have another one that you can fold down if you the sun is really in bad angles and uh, this is another feature that Volkswagen has that I haven't seen many other cars it actually has this little center sunshade storage compartments also include under seat storage there's a nice storage compartment in the front cup holders now, because this is a base model, there's just a storage compartment here instead of the height control adjustments. The center console is okay size. It's not huge, but it is quite adequate. As well as, it does have a nice size glove box. As you can see, it's got a weird shape to it. And I was told that the reason for that shape is so you can store a bottle of champagne or wine in it. Especially in the summer, where you can also turn the heat or the air conditioning on within the glove box so it is climatized glove box and that feature actually comes from the Volkswagen Phaeton the legroom for the front is not bad however it does have this transmission lump or transfer case lump here that does impact the legroom if you want to keep your feet in the back now if you go forward there's quite a nice amount of legroom there we're now going to hop in the back seat to see how the legroom is in the back so I'm not very tall, I'm about five foot eight. And sitting behind myself, I have quite a bit of leg room. I have plenty of headroom and a lot of shoulder room. And most vehicles where you can only put usually two adults in the back and leave the child in the middle, it's actually wide enough that you can comfortably seat three adults side by side. Since there only do have three car seats installed in the back, or actually two car seats and a booster seat, and they do fit quite nicely. Rear passengers comfort hasn't been uh, forgotten in this vehicle it does come with a nice dome reading light you have your safety handle a code hook you still have the nice aluminum and the uh, wood grain trim you have a vent on the pillar on the B pillar as well as you have your climate controls here they can adjust so they do adjust and you can also turn them on or off there's another 12 volt outlet in the back here as well as you have another storage compartment here in addition to storage compartments that are behind the seats the back seats also do feature lights in the footwells for the two sides as well as the center bridge does have a nice flat surface that's decent in size so you can actually do put two feet on there in case the passengers have big feet or in case you have something else in this position here the vehicle does feature shoulder seat belts on all positions as well as something that's not common on vehicles is actually the rear one is adjustable so you can height adjust them so if you have little kids the headrests are fully adjustable front back up and down as well as the center one for cup holders the center console does pull out 
and it does fold out two cup holders. I do find Volkswagens don't have the best cup holders for holding cups, but I think that's just the general German vehicle feature. The visibility from the rear seat is actually quite nice, even when sitting on the side. You have a nice view of the road ahead. And if we move to the center position, my headroom actually does suffer a little bit. I'm not sure if you guys can see, I am almost near the top with the headroom. However, the frontward and the sideward visibility is quite nice from the rear seats. The rear windows are also factory tinted. They're not dark. However, they do provide a nice amount of shade. For the rear trunk access, you can either open just the glass if you're grabbing an item that's in your trunk that you don't want to open everything in case you have big luggage that might fall out. You can open up just the glass and access it. Or you can go ahead and open up the full trunk. And the vehicle does feature a nice sized trunk. It does have the retractable trunk separator so you can hide your valuables. In the trunk you have another two 12 volt outlets plus a 110 volt plug and often what I do is actually have an extension cord that runs into the back seats where the kids are. There's a storage compartment here where I keep my emergency blanket as mentioned in my other video as well as another storage compartment that features quite a lot of space and I have my full first aid kit including a mini shovel in there. The trunk does have four strap points in case you want to strap something down into your trunk as well as two lights to eliminate on the sides as well as you get a light eliminates in the back so the bottom is clear and the back is red in case your trunk is open it'll notify others will see you the bottom does open and provide access for a spare tire the nice part that again Volkswagen sometimes thinks of these things that I find usually the Japanese or cheaper brands don't is when you fold this up, it has a nice click so it doesn't fall down on you while you might be getting your spare tire. It does come with the full suit of different tools. So you have your most common wrench, take, take your tires off, your lock nut, your tow hook, as well as this very unusual spare tire. So most of this is the rim and as you can see the tire is rather thin. So the purpose of this tire is that emergency use only. You put it onto your vehicle and then once it's on your vehicle, use the air compressor to inflate the tire. Base models come with an aftermarket air compressor. Mine was actually not here so I had to purchase one from a store. I do have some storage compartment here so I keep my hitch ball and stuff in here, my connector for the hitch. So you do have some extra storage. However, the higher up models do come with an onboard air compressor. The back seats also feature tether anchors for car seats for all three positions. And the rear seats do fold forward, so it's a 60 40 split. It can be accessed from the back or you can access it from the front. So the trunk space is quite nice, it is a big open square. I've fit decent amount of furniture in here and by furniture I mean I put in a full dresser pre-assembled into the trunk with no issues and the separator here or the cover does come out so it gives you a bit of extra space as well as there's a different set of covers you can actually buy that will clip up into here so if you have a pet you can actually put a pet it's essentially for a pet screen so that your pet doesn't go in the cabin and they'll have quite a bit of space in the back. When you do close the trunk, it does have the soft close feature. Not sure if you guys can see it, but I'll try to demonstrate. So again, soft close feature, something more common on luxury cars today than it was back in, well, this is a 2006. However, the vehicle was designed and initially sales started in 2004. From the exterior for a vehicle that is, in my case, 11 years old or possibly 13 years old if you have an 04 model, the vehicle does still look, I wouldn't say modern, but it does not look very old. My vehicle also features a hitch. These vehicles are known to tow nicely and uh, 
the hitch is rated to 77 well, and the vehicle to 7700 pounds which is actually quite a large amount of weight to tow for an SUV usually you need a half ton pickup for those weights and uh, being that it's a 5,000 pound vehicle when I am, am towing I don't feel that I'm towing uh, aside from power loss but my vehicle also has a roof rack and the nice part with this roof rack is that actually both parts go back in the rearmost position of the vehicle and it actually looks almost like a spoiler so you have a bit more of a sporty look and when you need it you simply slide the rail forward depending how far you need it you can see the rail where it actually slides it actually goes quite far forward on the vehicle essentially to the front of the sunroof if you have any long items that you're strapping to your roof fog lights are located quite low on this vehicle so in most cases when you're standing in front of the vehicle you don't know that it does feature fog lights since the best option to have the fog lights is as low as possible that's what they did so these are the Volkswagen standard 17 inch rims so this is the smallest of the rim packages and as you can see it actually barely clears the six piston front calipers and uh, the nice part of these calipers are actually Brembo's and they work quite nice in stopping a vehicle of this size in the rear the brakes are only ever so slightly smaller than the front and they feature four piston Brembo calipers which again with the work of the six pistons in the front and the four pistons in the rear they stop the vehicle quite nicely even though the vehicle does weigh about 5,000 pounds I'm gonna go ahead and start it up So it's actually quite nicely insulated on the inside. And finally guys, let's go for a ride. Let's see what it's like to drive the Touareg. I'm going to turn my heated seats on here. Keep myself nice and toasty. And off we go. So the ride quality is actually not bad considering it's an SUV. And uh, usually they tend, at least the bigger SUVs, they tend to be something like a truck. Where this one actually does drive quite quite a bit like a vehicle and not necessarily like a truck. So. The bumps absorption, it's like a, I don't want to say a sports car, but it actually does handle quite nice for a vehicle this size. We'll go and get some heat here for traffic. nice and uh, you have no problems merging on the highway with this vehicle you have no problems passing vehicles on the highway or around town the interior noise level from outside is actually quite low the vehicle is quite insulated from the exterior elements when I purchased the vehicle a couple of times I would let's say I had to honk at somebody I actually thought there was an issue with my horn but it just turns out that it's actually that nicely insulated from the exterior so although when I do honk I do hear it, it does sound a little, almost muffled, but that's not the case because the vehicle is just how the horn is. I'm going to do a 0 to 60 pull. So, in traffic, the vehicle is actually quite easy to drive. It's not as big as you would think, although the vehicle is taller off the ground. The visibility is not bad at all for especially I was going to say a modern SUV but a, for a semi-modern SUV the visibility in this vehicle it's quite nice the pillars are thick but they're positioned such a, way, such a way that they're not in your way the only forward visibility issue that I find is actually on the front left the mirrors are quite big which gives you a nice view of the rear and even towing a six foot wide trailer in the back I had no issues using my normal mirrors so they were quite large that I could easily see this backside of the uh, trailer while towing. It was also quite capable off-road. Uh, most people buying this probably wouldn't take it off-road when it was new, but now that they are becoming older and more affordable, more people are buying them for off-road use. Uh, with the ground clearance, the nice 4x motion all-wheel drive system, having the low-range gearing, and especially if you get the ones with uh, 
the hydraulic suspension, so the suspension you can actually raise and lower. Uh, it makes for a quite nice off-road vehicle. This vehicle does inspire a lot of confidence, partially because it feels very stable on the road, and it is heavy, so you do feel safe, in addition to you having front airbags, side airbags, curtain airbags, rear airbags. The transmission actually in this vehicle is a little strange. In my opinion, they should only have the sport mode and that should be it. Now that might be a little heavier in gas. I do find when in normal drive mode, the transmission is a little confused as to when it should shift. So it shifts smooth, it just shifts early unless you're really flooring it or in the sport mode position, I find it shifts where it should, so it should shift around 3,000 RPM, 3 to 4,000, and off we go. As you can tell, the car does like to go. If you liked the video, please subscribe and thank you for watching.